All right, it's been a while since I've shown anyone how to do a backup with AirDrop. And since there's been a little bit of an update, I just wanna make sure that we have this new video. So as a reminder, you can back up your Proloquo to Go vocabulary using AirDrop over to a second iPad or a phone. Uh, as long as you have downloaded the Proloquo to Go app on that device already. So you can use family sharing to download the app onto a second device if you're not using the same Apple ID. And then to airdrop the vocabulary, you go into this little options wheel here, and then you scroll down to where it says backup right here. Now you can make a new backup right now if you've made some changes, or you can export a backup that already exists these devices are automatically backed up every single day. So I can hit export backup and then I can choose a date. So like I can choose yesterday's or two days ago. I'm gonna pick the one from two days ago and then I'm going to select share. And that's gonna give me the option to use AirDrop. So in this case, we are gonna AirDrop this backup over to daddy's iPad. We select AirDrop, it's waiting. Over here on the second device, you can see it popped up. I'm gonna hit accept. All right, so now it is airdropping over. So if you look at this one, you can see the status. All right, when it's done, it's going to say sent. Sorry, I went to another screen just to make sure it was sending. So now we're done with this device. Over here on this device, if it doesn't prompt you to open with Proloquo to go, which newer versions are not prompting you to, you're gonna to wanna to go to the downloads. In ours, it's already here, or you can just pull down on the screen and type in the word downloads. You see that? And you can open the downloads folder. Now, if you don't see it, you can hit recent, and that's gonna take you to the latest things that have been downloaded to your device. And we're gonna click on the name of that file. Then we're gonna to go to this little arrow up here to open with Proloquo to go. And now it's asking, do you want to restore now? Which I do, I want to overwrite this version with a new one. And I can either restore it over this user right here, or I can create a brand new user. So sometimes I do this to airdrop a copy of my child's vocabulary to her speech therapist's device, uh, and they'll title it after her so that they don't confuse it with other kids. In this case, I'm just gonna restore over instead of creating a new user. And there it is, it's using the backed up version. It's restoring it over the last one I had. And there we go. Now I have backed it up using AirDrop to a second device.